Let's go to our page on Blackboard. I want to walk you through the online module, which is what you will complete today. It's due on March 3rd. So let's click on online class. And you will see a folder here that says online class 226. So you'll click on this. It will be available for you. Right now it's not. Let me turn this off. So I have very detailed instructions so that you will not be confused, ideally. All you have to do is follow the numbers and it will take you from 1 to 5. Um, so 1, start here. Basically I'm reminding you, you need a couple of things. You will need your textbooks for this. You will need to have posted your topics. And you will also want to be aware that all of the assignments and homework in this folder are due on Tuesday. Uh, you'll notice that two is missing. That is where I'm going to put this presentation that we are discussing together right now. So after you viewed the presentation, you'll go on to step three. Please read the directions. There is a link for you to click on here. You may have to paste it. And then you will need to watch this very brief video on how to narrow your focus. You will have a practice activity where you will decide which topics are focused and propose a solution. And finally, when you complete those, you will have your homework here, which again will be to pick one of your choices and to research finding two articles that you will bring to class. And then you will complete this assignment, which is basically just answering the questions completely to the best of your ability in complete sentences. And you'll submit it by clicking on this link here. And you will see that you'll have the directions again. You will also have the option to write a submission or to upload an attachment. That choice is yours to make. So let's go ahead and talk about proposing a solution and pick up where we left off last week. Okay, so I want to remind you of some things about this essay. First, you will want to clearly state what the problem is and what solution is being proposed. Remember with your arguing of position, you had multiple sources, you had research, you had support and evidence. You will be doing the same thing this time with a little bit of opinion. So this essay is mostly based off of research. However, your opinion does come in handy when it's time for the solution. Ideally, you will research different solutions that have already been proposed and then you will create a better one that is much stronger and based off of evidence and the support. Number two, discuss how the pr proposed solution will help solve the problem, can be implemented, and ultimately you'll want to think about, well, is it even worth the expense, the time, and the effort? So I've got this great solution, but is it really actually feasible? Is it doable? Or am I just proposing this idea that I can't find research to support. Your proposal should ask you to take action. Uh, this is your job to say, look, here are all these other solutions out there, but mine is better because it's backed off of reasoning. It has a way to implement it. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process. This is how I might implement my solution. Um, if you're still unsure of what topic to pick, you can click on this website link. It has some great topic ideas, several. They talk about school, community, sports. Okay, that doesn't exist. So I'll upload the correct link. But here is the site. They explain what a solution essay is, if you're still confused. And then they give you all of these choices that you might actually be able to use for your essay. 
if you're into sports, college problems. So I'm going to let you guys look at this when I upload the correct link. And let's get back to our discussion. So here's an example of how your essay might look. The issue I have picked is packing up too early. So first thing you want to do is explain the problem. Students pack up too early before the end of class and other students are distracted and the professor gets upset. Okay, great. That is the problem. Now that you've introduced the problem, you want to provide evidence, which is research. What do other people say about the problem? Where does the problem exist? Is it at local colleges? Is it high schools that you're talking about? What are you focusing on specifically? Who suffers? Is it just the professor? Maybe students have issues with this. How long has this been an issue? Next, you're giving a call to action. This is where you tell the reader what they need and want. So you are basically saying, look, this is a problem. By fixing it, you will get this out of it. I know you want to leave early, but here's why you shouldn't. Or here's what we can do to alleviate some of the stress and confusion. Next, you're going to propose a main solution to the problem. So the solution might be the main one to put it in the syllabus. You need to give reason and evidence to support that. You need to make sure it is able to be implemented, who is involved, who benefits. And then you're going to plan for those objections. And that's where you propose alternative solutions. So one of the objections might be, hey, it's college. Students should know better. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my essay and say, well, although some people may argue it's college, students should know better, one solution to fix this objection might be that if it is in the syllabus, students will know in advance, and if they don't, follow what the syllabus says, they will be notified by written communication, etc. So you're thinking of other options for your solutions. Okay, so that is it for today's lesson. I will leave it up to you guys to complete steps one through five. Don't forget your homework is due on March 3rd. If you have questions, please let me know. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you Tuesday.